What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Sneaker D. And you got your stuff. And this is Kick Chat, brought to you by... KYG. We back at y'all with another one. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. Is Nike trying to use collaborations to trick us into liking shoes and silhouettes that what people were once hating on? Short answer, yes. But, let me tell you a little story. Um... Starts All Star Weekend um, with this guy, you know, just Don, right? Don C. Yeah. You know, made the hats. I-, I heard about him. Yeah. So he creates this silhouette, Air Jordan. It's going to come with a hat. It's going to come with a fly suit. And you know what Air Jordan that was? The two. It was the two. Yeah. Quilted. Blue one came out first. It's fire. Um, then a sand one. Then an Arctic orange one. That which Arctic had the, orange is fire. Had everybody going crazy. And that was a full fat, uh, full size run. He had them for kids and all that. Facts. Had everybody going crazy. The men's one were more. Uh, honestly, it didn't have everybody going crazy. Everybody it didn't crazy. have. No. If, if you were involved in the sneaker community, you would have liked it. I don't think everyone was going crazy like that. Remember seeing Victor Cruz in a. Victor Cruz is a sneakerhead. Full flight. Like. Um, but then that goes back to my other argument, where I'm like, oh, it's the, it's the, it's Joy, not Tinker. Because here we go, here we go again. Here, here we, we go, go again. Here we go. Now let's bring it back to today's society. November 12th, we are going to get a low model two. Okay. An off-white low model two. Okay. Produced by Virgil. All right. Mr. 50-50 himself. 50-50 guy. Mr. I need to get a pair of off-whites because... He didn't have my size in the lemon, uh, the lemon ones. But once again, that model rears his ugly head, and people are gonna buy it. All right. So now I'm gonna give my my standpoint. One, we're not gonna go back to the Jordan ticket thing. But before we do, I think this proves my point because right now that too is popping because and it's going to be popping because of Virgil, not Jordan. Because but it was popping. It was, it was popping the two was never popping. Let's not the, do that. The just not the just not twos weren't oh. a thing. They were only all right. Maybe we have a different ideology on what I when I say something is popping. To me, and you got me going off track already. To me, the Travis Scotts are popping because people that aren't sneakerheads know and want that shoe. Yo, people that aren't sneakerheads do not know about the Don C twos. I'm pretty sure they do. No, they don't. Oh, and I'm pretty sure they did at that time. No, they didn't, bro. You can act, yo. A regular Joe Schmo does not know about no Don C twos, bro. They probably won't know. So now, that is not lit. But at the time, to- they didn't know at the time either. This they did. No, they didn't, bro. But continue. All right. So, like I was saying, agree with O that yes, they are using collabs to popularize models that weren't popular. Like it's just not the Off White Two. Virgil is dropping a Jordan One Mid. And it made me think of like, yo, Travis Scott, when he did these lows, that's why I specifically wore these for this episode. And I'm like, yo, they're trying to test, are these shoes and models bad? Or can we beat that stigma that somehow got placed on these products and get them to move? Because they're talking about this is going to be the year of the twos. I don't think since I was in high school, I don't think Jordan has ever brand has ever been brave enough to say, yo, we're going to drop a full lineup of twos. Because they it would not have sold, you feel me? But what they're going to do they is they're going to collab it. They're, they're doing the um the low collab with uh Virgil. Mm-hmm. Then I heard Union is getting a, two pairs of twos, and those are supposed to be the high top ones. And then I think they're going to drop some other low top twos. And I'm like, I won't lie, it was working on me the other day. Before I even seen the Union pitch, uh, Pictures of the images of the twos they're supposed to be doing. We're gonna put those pictures up. I'm not sure if those are the official ones though. I was looking at the the Jordan two lows, the um the midnight blue, the midnight blue Jordans with the midnight blue at the bottom and a little um me too and a little light blue. And I'm like, yo, they really trying to do this to me. I like they they really almost got me about to be a two head. But ha ha, I caught on to it. Wale told me, don't let y'all win. So other than them off-white twos, 
I think I'm going to save a lot of money this year. You capping. I know you. And what's going to happen is... I'm not getting those union tools. If, if the lying. images we have now are what's dropping, I'll be okay with passing. You're lying. I'm not. You can't help I don't have but, no union force. You can't help but have a set. And the closest thing to Dip a one... Set? And the closest <laughs> thing to a one is a two. Like, yo, they're really trying to see how far they can push this collaboration thing into success. Even, like, uh, Billie Eilish having them uh, KOs. And it's funny, around the time her KOs are supposed to drop... They had other KOs coming out. I'm like, yo, they're really trying to sell these unpopular silhouettes because I think they're afraid of like constantly having to release the OGs, the, the, the pairs people want, and running them into the ground. Yeah. Right, so talking about Nike's uh, release tactics, do you think that Nike is the new luxury shoe? And what I mean by that is back in the 06, 2010, early times, like, before sneakers became cool to the masses, it, it was the luxury brands, the Gucci's, the Prada's, the Louis's, like, those were the, the shoes that people were spending big money on, like, mm. those were the shoes that even though some of them kind of look sneakerish, you can get into the club with them, because like, oh, those Gucci, these are, the, I've, I've heard bouncers say like, oh, nah, those are Gucci, you're cool, but a pair of sneakers, you couldn't, but now, you go to a club with a pair of ones, they're letting you in. You feel me? Like, there's no more, no sneaker. That, like, and then you look on StockX and go, these Jordans are going for higher prices than they used to pay for those Gucci's and things of that nature. That's true. You think there are, Jordans are the new luxury brand? Yeah, of course. And <clears throat> it starts with, like, everybody in the Migos, right? Uh, when they first arrived on the scene. All three of them? All, all three. Um, when they first arrived on the scene, like, it was only Versace this. Uh-huh. Um, overseas brand this. But, um... Hold on, can I pause you right there? Yeah. Yo, did you hear that um, that verse on Wale song when he was like, yo, people getting paid to dress like me? Yo, you think that was a shot at, at the Migos? Uh, I think he was indirectly... Taking a shot. Because I was like, he has a point, but I wasn't like, you, to me, the Migos was what rang off, but I'm like, he may not specifically be talking about them, but I right, get back to your point. My bad. No, 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 you're fine. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think indirectly he was talking to anybody who's a part of the sneaker culture now. Yeah. Who wasn't in 09 when he was doing it. Facts. And that leads into like our conversation where. Now, with those type of people, it has garnered, like, this is luxury. This is the new luxury. Before, it was Prada American Cups. Even though Prada mm -hmm. American Cups are, like, back in style at the moment. Are they? Yeah. I've, been seeing, I've been seeing more right. people with no, them No, no, you're now. right. But in 04? That's fact. Them American Cups were different. Those, those are the sneakers that Listen, got you in the club. Bro, in 04, if you ain't have a pair of American Cups with an Ed Hardy t-shirt, you, <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't doing it, man. All right, my bad. I keep cutting you off. Go ahead. No, nah, but um, now with, with people like P.J. Tucker, um, Offset, even Travis, you can have garnered that, all right, this is new luxury because these were the people who who were opposed to sneakers so long ago, and not, not everybody was doing sneakers, but now more people are doing sneakers, it can feed into this is now. And level. I'm not going to lie, I've been a conspiracy theorist that Nike must own part of StockX, but now thinking about it, they may not, and I'm actually saying that because I think Nike has shadow banned me, so I apologize, guys, <laughs> because if you see this episode, I take it back, trust me. But, um, yeah, I think that's how Nike wants to be viewed as that top tier shoe, which is why they're dropping sneakers in such limited quantities, mm -hmm. because that's the look they're going for. They're going for that. Hey, we are you, everybody can't have this. It's exclusive. It's luxury. But also it for the fact that it's working like, yo, I can't. We all know those people that was like, we're Jordan. Like, we know the people that wore those high-end fashion shoes all the time, the people that's wearing those ugly Balenciaga sock things, they're not the ones buying up all their Travis Scotts. 
because to them, at least the way I feel, it was never about the aesthetic of the shoe. It was always about the price. Like yeah. I remember Nicki Minaj said, like, yo, if I don't have a comma on the price tag, I don't want it. You feel me? Bobs. But um, <laughs> that's how they're now looking at the night because they're making it into that stratosphere. And that is what's destroying the game. Like, it's not a company thing. It's not uh it's not just the resellers. It's a fine it's financial snobs have now entered the game and they are just those Travis Scott Fragment Fours, four thousand, and they're selling every day. Who's buying it? The people that feel like something is worth something because of how much it is. Perfect. Coming back in the day, like, yeah, but look at the, the cheap leather. Now you're paying four thousand for that same cheap leather. Yeah, you guys are nasty, nasty people. Uh, but let us know how you guys feel in the comment section below. Do you think Nike's trying to trick us into buying things we don't like? And do you think that they are trying to become that new luxury item? And these bolters are out here just falling for it, paying $4,000 for a sneaker that retails for two hundred. dollars Let us know how you feel below. It's your boy Sneaker D. Hello. This is Kick Chat, brought to you by KYG. And we out. See you guys next week. Peace, y'all. Peace.